All right, y'all, back at you. Today, I'm gonna be talking about my uh, guava tree here. And this guava tree has a lot of problems right now. And in fact, I think probably the ultimate solution to a lot of my problems is to prune it heavily and let it grow back. But uh, I, I'm actually waiting to do that because we have a couple guavas on it. There's a couple more up here. And I would really like to harvest them before I, uh, you know, prune this tree. So uh, I'm going to try some, I want to show you some of the problems we have here. For one, you can see we have this, we have this sooty mold on here. See on the, these leaves here. And uh, this actually isn't that big of a problem. You can see, you can, you can rub it off, you can wash it off even. Um, it's not, it doesn't really attack the plant. But it's caused, what it is, is it's feeding on the um, honeydew that's left by these, these guys right here, these mealybugs. I don't know if you can see that up close. Here's another one right here. And we have a lot of these mealybugs back here on this branch. You can see them right here. These mealybugs are causing us a problem. And then I also have, I don't know if you can see, but we also have aphids right here on all the new growth. You usually find some aph aphids. Um, here's some more up here, aphids and mealybugs. So this guava tree has a lot of problems. And um, so I'm gonna experiment here. I, I've whipped up a little concoction of, uh, this is like one part water and one part alcohol. And I actually put in a little soap too, so it's soapy water and alcohol. Um, I'm, the, the soapy water does help to control aphids a little bit, and um, I'm hoping that the alcohol uh, water mixture will help control these mealybugs, which will in turn help control the sooty mold that's all over this. So we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna go back here and spray some of these mealybugs with my little concoction. Maybe spray some up up on the front too and then we'll come back in like a day and see if it does anything to them get some of these over here too there's a whole bunch of them we got all sorts of problems here all right well i got to get my little sprayer to work so i tell you what y'all i'm gonna uh maybe put a little bit more concoction in my bottle here and um, spray this tree down and we'll come back in maybe a, a day or so and uh I'll get back with you in a day or so and see if we have any improvement. All right, y'all, back at you. And I got an update on my um, my little uh, concoction that I made here to try and uh, defeat the mealy bugs and the other problems that we have on the guava tree here. Um, actually, I forgot to mention in the in the first uh, segment of this video, one of the bigger problems we have on the guava tree is. Um, soft scale bugs. I actually think it's a uh, croton scale. And uh, I'm shooting this segment with a different camera because this, this camera does a better job with close-ups. And I'm gonna show you, I missed a, a spot up here. I'm gonna show you what some healthy soft scale insects or croton scale looks like. And then also what a healthy mealy bug looks like. And then we'll look at how my spray did on um, the rest of them so here we go right there I don't know if you guys can see let me, let me get this right there you can see these soft scale bugs these soft scale insects right on the yeah right there on the uh, tip of this fresh uh, well it's not fresh anymore but the tip of this branch and you can see them here. I can scrape them off. You'll see they're kind of like neon green when you scrape them off. But uh, those are what fresh or that's what healthy um, soft scale insects look like. And then I have a, there's a mealy bug right here. You can see him right there, the white, he's all white. It's a pretty healthy looking mealy bug. He looks like he's in decline though. And I'm gonna show you this spray actually, I think it worked. I, I was a little, uh, I was a little unsure uh, when I first did it. Um, I, I did this, I, I did the first clip uh, five days ago and I soaked this whole thing down. The, the, the spray mixture I made is one part 99% um, isopropyl alcohol and uh, one part soapy water. 
and I sprayed this whole tree down and um, uh, the first day or two I didn't see much improvement and I actually spot sprayed some of the bad spots um, again um, on day two and then kind of forgot about it for until now for a day or so and I came and looked at it and sure enough let me show you what's going on here this stuff has totally killed all of the soft scale um, soft scale bugs or the or soft scale the croton scale I mean it's just totally killed it all it's just totally dead you can see compared to the fresh stuff <clears throat> the fresh stuff I just showed you and then also look what it's done to the mealy bugs they are all in total decline Let's see if I can reach up here you can see they're just they're starting to like just rot pretty much in place a healthy mealy bug would be all white and you can see these are these are just kind of dead they're dying um, so really I'm happy to report that 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 concoction actually worked um, a couple things about it I, I noticed when I was spraying it I wasn't being careful you know you don't want to breathe in um, isopropyl alcohol um, so I would and you don't want to get it all over your skin either so and I wasn't wearing a mask and I was wearing a tank top and uh, I was windy out here and it probably wasn't a good idea um, I should have been a little more careful especially if you're gonna spray this stuff in um, large quantities uh, and then also another thing I want to point out is that this guava tree is a pretty tough plant and um, my mixture there was 50% alcohol, so you know it, it might very well kill some more tender plants uh, than this. But uh, for the guava, um, oh man, look at these up here. Let's see if I can grab this branch. You can just see all of the dead mealy bugs. Look at them all; they're just all dying. Again, a, a, a happy mealy bug would be a white one. These guys are just—they're just dead right there. And look at all the soft scale the dead soft scale uh, insects on the on the branch there so I mean this concoction really did work so now we'll see if the uh, sooty mold starts to go away and um, and uh, I don't know I'm pretty happy with the results I think I'm still gonna prune the tree but uh, I'm pretty happy with the results from the concoction over there so uh, I would encourage everyone to give it a try um, for now though, if you if you liked our video and you found it informative, um, I, I finally learned how to put a subscribe button. Gets in this corner, or maybe that one, I don't know, but we'd appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, everybody take care.